Hello everybody, my name is Jacob Yost, I am a certified medical assistant, and today I wanted to shed some light on a major moral issue that we have in society. Now, because I'm a medical student, I like to look at things from the medical perspective. Therefore, I decided to do this little discussion on pharmaceutical drug companies and how much are they charging. What are the moral issues behind this, and where is the line drawn? For example, this article is from CNN, and it says, Are drug companies overcharging? In my opinion, they are. Why is it that when a pharmaceutical company develops a new drug, because it's the only drug of its kind on the market, they can charge whatever amount they want for that drug? It doesn't matter how large the population is that depends on it. In fact, if it was a bigger population, it'd be more beneficial for the companies who charge as much as they want. So for example, in this article, and I'll even read it to you here, <clears throat> it cites <clears throat> that drug makers priced hepatitis C drugs, Solvality and Harvani, to $1,000 a pill. $1,000 a pill for a hepatitis C palliative care option. Palliative care just means that it's comforting the signs and symptoms with the disease. It's not a cure. So they're paying $1,000 a pill to feel better about a disease that they have. This is a huge moral dilemma. In this country, it's astonishing that there are no laws or regulations placed on these drug companies. There has to be some kind of limitation. Where do we draw the line in the sand that is family's choices to either go broke and live or can't afford the care they need and die or deal with pain or discomfort from whatever that disease is. Getting a disease is usually not something you choose. It's an accident. So why are people being penalized severely, a thousand dollars a pill, because an accident happened, because they got this disease? This is the moral issue. How do we fix this? That's a good question. There needs to be some kind of limitation or statute that says companies can only charge so much, let's say a percentage, above what it costs to make the drug. The idea behind the fact that these companies can charge as much as they want for the drugs is because since they made it, they have to get their money back from making it. Understand, making these drugs takes tons of research, tons of time, and a lot of resources. So it's going to cost a lot of money. Now, there are laws in this country that when a drug passes or is put on the market, no other generic form of that drug can be made for up to 17 years. And the reason for this is for what I stated. The company has to get its money back from making the drug. Now, because no other alternative form can come out for 17 years means that for 17 years at least, these companies can charge however much they want for the drug that they just made, creating a huge moral dilemma. Once again, why are the choices go broke and live or keep your money but be in discomfort and pain all the time? That shouldn't be a choice. As the article references, when your house is on fire, you don't pull out your credit card and pay the, you know, the firefighters to go put out your fire. They just go and do it. It's something that is a basic human care right, essentially. Um, so why isn't there a right to the kind of medications that we can have access to, or at least some forms of medication we can have access to? Earlier in the year, it might have been late last year, I can't quite remember, the biggest uh, controversy was the EpiPen. The EpiPen that literally saves people's lives from an anaphylactic reaction to something they're allergic to, such as bee stings and other insect bites, maybe pollen, something severe. And it's so severe that the person will die. The patient will die in a couple of minutes if they can't get this EpiPen and inject the medication into them. Well, a generic form has recently been made of the EpiPen, and it's a good thing because... As this article cites, the EpiPen went up from less than $100 to over $600. That's a $500 increase. The EpiPen came out in the 1970s, which means it's most likely already hit its 
its uh, payback. In that 17 years time, it already hit its payback. So it's already broke even with profits for what it costs to create it. Everything else is just additional profit. It's additional revenue. So when they're charging 500 extra dollars, it's not because they're still gaining back their money from making it. That's not it at all. It's because we live in a capitalist country where the idea is make as much money as you can. Buy as much as you want because you have the right to do so. That is a huge, huge issue when it comes to medicine. How can we care for people when they can't afford to be taken care of? So, this is something that needs to be regulated. As far as how do we fix this, I don't know. I'm not a pro. Like I said, there has to be some kind of law that comes out to just kind of um, diminish the crazy price ranges that we're facing here. So, thanks for listening, everybody. Again, my name's Jacob Yost, and I hope you uh, enjoyed this little moral issue presentation.